Today we are buying somebody's entire sneaker collection. We are about to head out to somebody locally in Atlanta's house to buy their entire collection. I made a post over on Instagram a few days ago asking if anybody would be interested in selling their collection between 50 to 150 pairs of sneakers and we found somebody local who's actually a good friend of mine and he's ready to part ways with all of his shoes. So we're about to head there now, start looking through, price everything out, make some negotiations, make an offer and hopefully buy an entire sneaker collection today. So let's go ahead, head there now, wish us luck. All right, we are here with Danny, who we are gonna be buying the sneaker collection from today. Now, I've known Danny for a long time now. We met through cars way back in the day. He's one of the owners of Butler Tire, and he dealt with a lot of wheels and tires, and I've had a lot of cars over the years, so I've wasted a lot of money with him, and I've also got him into the addiction of sneakers a little bit. You were into it already, and he's bought a lot of shoes, and he's ready to part ways with his entire collection. And thing. so, we have today, we're here at his house, we're gonna go through his entire collection, talk about some pairs, price them out, and then see if we can make a deal on buying his entire collection. Ready for it? Uh, I'm so ready, bro. Get rid of all of it. <laughs> all right, well, let's go back in the sneaker room and uh, start looking. He's got a cool display and stuff, so let's head back there. All right, so we're here in the sneaker room. This is a nice display, Danny. I like it. Tell us about, well, one, first off, why do you want to sell your entire collection? Do you know what? I'm in the stage of my life where I'm trying to declutter. I've got to get rid of stuff, replace with new. Um, I also just don't have time. This stuff is so time consuming to hunt for the sneakers, wait for them, enter drawers that you never ever win, yep. and then get excited about one in a million that you, that you win. But essentially, I just, I, I, I'm decluttering my life. I'm getting rid of a lot of things. Um, and also they sit on their shelves. They sit on the shelves, I never wear them, and then you keep looking at the value and it's like, you know, $1,300, $1,400 sneaker, is it okay to wear? And then every time I get dressed, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wear that sneaker, and then I come in here and I land up leaving with a different sneaker. Yeah. And so, how many sneakers does one person need? Yeah, exactly. So he's got this display here, this is probably more worn ones, and then he has over here, these are all shoes from sneakers, correct? Yeah. From Nike and sneakers that he's bought that he's never opened. You just ordered them, you entered the draws, they showed up. So there's a lot of stuff in here that I don't know what's in here. He probably knows from his sneaker history, the sneakers app, uh, what's in here. But this is also, are all these going? Uh, yeah. All, most of these yeah, are gonna go. All the brown boxes, you know? Yeah, all the brown boxes. Some, there's gonna be some personal pairs that are like really worn and stuff he's gonna keep, which is fine. But I think we're at around like 60-ish pairs and then we'll kind of dwindle that and figure out which ones. But this is gonna be fun to go through because he just entered draws and got them here and never opened them and just left them in the boxes. So there's that's- also, There's also a few where, I, uh, cause I like sneakers in general, just yeah. something that looks good and funky and different. So there are a few in here where I paid way too much for and then tanked immediately. Yeah, uh, We've all been there, but it, it's just, you know, cause I thought that they were cool. So. Yeah, no, that's, that's what being a sneakerhead is. So yeah. let's talk about some of the shoes you have here. Cause there's some cool ones. There's a lot, there's some, you, you like Dunk Highs, Jordan 1 Lows, Air Max 90s. Yeah. So like, for example, there's some brand new pairs like uh, not just Investors right here. These are a really cool pair. They look used as they come, but they come brand new. You have pairs like this that you never wore. Yeah, you can even see that got dust on there. Yeah, and so you bought these for a collection. You really wanted them. You should yeah. pay resale for these, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, but probably three years ago. Three years ago, so not yeah. that bad. What are some of the pairs that stand out in here that are kind of memorable to you? Because you were telling us like this was your first sneakers kind of win. Yeah, this was my first sneakers win. I love the fact that you, you can customize it yourself. So each yep. one of them is unique to themselves. And I just remember getting them and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna wear that out of them. And to be quite honest, they're so comfy, yep. um, which some of these are not. And then one day I decided while I was at the office, I'm like, let me customize it yep. my, my way and, and did it like this and left it. So I figured out that actually getting the paint off is not, not that easy. Yeah. Uh, you gotta do, put some work into it. But these are one of my favorites. Um, they my dailies, I ride motorcycles in there, I go in the trash and you can see that, but yeah. Alright guys, gotta hop in here and give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is gonna be Scentbird. Scentbird is a long time sponsor on this channel and one of my favorite brands to work with. Good personal hygiene is the first step to looking and smelling fresh and that's where Scentbird comes in. Scentbird allows you to select a new designer fragrance every month for just $17 a month and you have over 600 different designer brands you get to choose from. Now as you can see, this is the cologne or perfume right here. Spray it just like this 
Got the nice smell right there. Oh, this one smells amazing. This one is Thirst Trap by Confessions of a Rebel. And each different designer fragrance comes with a card to show you the different tones and hits of each fragrance that you have. So obviously you can see what the full bottle will look like here, as well as the different tones on the back. Now, that is another important point about Semper is that you don't have to commit to the entire bottle of spending hundreds of dollars on a designer fragrance bottle without even knowing if you're gonna like it. You can get a 30 day supply before deciding, use it, and if you really love it, you can go ahead and buy the full big bottle. But the amazing thing about Scentbird is that each month you get a new fragrance, so you never have to stay the same. You can always have a fresh new scent. There are brands such as Gucci, Prada, Versace, anything you could think of. And if you guys use my coupon code Harrison Neville, you guys will get 55% off your first month, making it just over $7 for your first month of Scentbird. So go ahead and visit the link in the description down below and use my code Harrison Neville to try your first month of Scentbird, start smelling fresh. So go ahead and check out Scentbird today. Yeah, th this was my first cop, I think, ever. And I didn't understand, like, leaving them DS and not wearing them and all that sort of stuff. That was when I first got into the game, so. That's good, so it's evolved a lot. Yeah. Um, so like I said, a lot we see a lot of the Jordan 1 highs, dunks, you got a couple threes and stuff in there. I think what would be good is to kind of go through, pick out the pairs that you want to keep, because there's certain pairs that you want to keep, and then we have to go through and kind of price out each thing, obviously, figure out what's in these boxes, and kind of go from there. So how about you pull some of the pairs off they're gonna keep, um, put those to the side, and so we can start pricing and figuring out what kind of you want to go with. Jeez, this is a tough one, man. This is a tough one. Bro. I hope you thought about this before, because this is gonna, <laughs> don't make any rash decisions that you're gonna regret. No, so where do you want me to just put Yeah, just put them on the ground, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, I mean, you can see it's so funny because you can see the evolution of when I started buying them yep. versus where, where sneakers are today. These as well, man, these are some of my favorites too. Those are good ones. Yeah. I see you in those a lot. Yeah, it's just a, a good daily pair. So funny enough, this pair right here, when they came out, we used to make videos, they were- I were bought at, those for $90. At Foot Locker. Uh, no, in retail. Oh, retail. StockX. Yeah, so we bought like 10 pairs from the store over a span of a couple months, and now they're like $500 brand new. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm not, I know this is your favorite, the Stranger Things. Oh yeah, the Upside yeah. Down Stranger Things blazer. Yeah. It's a good one. I have a brand new pair, so I haven't messed with yet. I, I didn't get the hype and everything, and I still don't. <laughs> I don't want to watch the show, because I've seen people get consumed for- That's me. For years, so that all the Yeezys can go. Um, these ones as well, are so weird that I got them, and I thought that they were super dope, and then, I don't know, they tanked, and now, re now they're worth something, I guess, right? We have a general idea of the shoes that are in here. We're gonna have to, we're gonna price them out and everything. So yeah, because there's all those, but this has got to be. That's that's got to be like 30 pairs almost right there alone. Those. For now, for now, I'm gonna go with this. Um, there's a few, I mean, just scragglers that we may pull out. Okay. For now, that's it. Okay. So this is a maybe. You know, maybe. It makes sense. We can't leave him with zero yeah. shoes to wear every okay. day. Okay. Yeah, yet too. What we're gonna do? We're going to now start kind of uh, making a list and pricing these out to see where they're at. Come up with a realistic, sellable value, and then kind of go from there and try to come together with a, you know, large value. But we first need to go through some of these. Before we get into that, we need to go through some of these because this is just like mystery boxes and this, all of these have been purchased in the last three years. Yeah, three years. So one thing I know is probably in here, Danny and I play golf together a lot. We played golf together for a while. So I know there's probably some golf shoes in here because yeah. you always send me golf shoes. So let's just start pulling some of these out and see what we got. Because obviously we're gonna have to see what these are to price them out. And we can, we'll keep all these boxes too because uh, we can just ship with them. So let's see, first one up. What did you order? Ooh, these are nice. Shadow 2.0s, yeah. brand new. I mean, these came out, they didn't go too high in value. They're probably right on retail right now. I think I, uh, over the years, I think I've got two or three pairs of those. This is a U shoe, that, that gray. Yeah. So that's a good one there. Lots more of these. Oh, let's get a purple box. SB. And all these are size 12 and a half, right? It's so funny. No, it's size 12. It's 12. so funny because sometimes I pull them out and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I, I completely forgot. You forgot, yeah. Yeah. This is like the New York Mets. Yeah. It's not a fishy New York Mets, which is boo, still graves. But New York makes size 12. <laughs> Um, cloud Grey, Rush Blue. Yep, that's a good one there. I don't know why, but all of these animal print ones. You love that. No, for some reason I won every single one of them, <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I'll wear them, no I won't, and anyway, they've just been sitting, but I, th I think that's dope, man. The yeah. texture and everything is different. The thing about buying all these golf shoes, though, is like, once they get destroyed, you're like, I'm just gonna keep wearing the pair that's already messed up. Yeah. I have the Travis golf shoe, and I'm like, they're gonna get destroyed. Destroyed. So let's see, we'll keep pulling a couple of these out. Some more Yeezys. 
Did you run a Yeezy wave for a little bit? And you yeah, uh, I think everybody starts off. I mean, back then, everybody started off with them. Because they're comfortable. Um, yeah, which this, in my opinion, is the most comfortable Yeezy shoe. I mean, the 700s or whatever they call it. This is the most comfortable shoe, in my opinion. Let's see. We're eventually gonna have to pull all these out, so. Those are all gold. No, it's not good. This is a good one, though. It's a clean orange colorway. Yeah. You, I see you like a lot of shoes with mint color. It's, it's yeah, I went through that Tiffany blue sort of vibe. Yeah, and, yeah. You know. Ooh, this is a good, well, this is one that went down in value a good bit. I think me and, you, yeah, me and you spoke about this one for so long. Yeah. And that, then eventually I pulled the trigger, paid way too much money for it, and it's just tank. I'm on your Jordan 1s. When these came out, everyone was super hyped on them. Same with the threes and the fours, and then they just tank. After but like they also, the material, man, it's so hard to wear them. Yeah. Because, you know, e even with those ones over there, the material is so soft. This is so hard yep. that, you know, it take years to yep. get it to be soft. So let's pull all of these pairs out um, and kind of get that. We're going to create a list and uh, just go from there because we've got to figure out pricing and all that. And then... Um, so let's pull all these out, go through them. If we find any gems, we'll, we'll let you guys know. It's our task now to pull out all these pairs. We're gonna lay them out on the ground so we can create a list of everything and then create the value of each of the pairs so we can create a large sum to see what everything is worth and what we're gonna try to pay for it. So let's go ahead and start pulling these out. Um, we'll probably set the camera up on this chair so we can do a little time lapse. I don't even remember these coming out, but these are pretty cool. Light blue, white. Good one right there. These went up in price for sure. Ooh. Now this is a box that I like to see. I decided to pull the other half out and uh, just to show you guys to pull them out. Got the Polaroid SBs going below retail, right? These are stupid low right now. I'm not sure if this is a pair he wants to keep or not. I think he wants to keep these. This is a pair of reverse mochas. Gorgeous, I love these. Gordon one low, black and reds. These are sitting around retail, these are used. The good about these pairs is a lot of like affordable pairs because obviously we're going to be selling these on the website so a lot of good price pairs for you guys Ooh, this is a good one nike sp golf not i feel like he might keep these but we'll see we'll see how that is we got these are like a retro vibe atmos nike sbs dead stock it's a great pair empty SB box so we've got all these pairs we're going to see if there's any he wants to take out and then we're gonna sit here and create a list of values increasing these shoes like crazy already um, we're gonna create a list of values and then uh, get our overall value of them what, what you're keeping is this golf golf yeah, yeah. that's funny are you keeping these I feel like I'm never gonna wear them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, it's gonna be the same, the same cycle, the same cycle. And I'm, I'm gonna call you in like a month or two and be like, hey, bro, we're gonna get rid of these. You know? So these are going. Yeah. These we're gonna keep. Keeping these. Yeah. Are there any that you didn't realize were in there? Yeah. A lot. Um, those blue and black Jordan ones. These. Yeah, I didn't realize those were in there. And the pink ones. Those aren't golf shoes, are they? No. Yeah, those are the. It's just sometimes the material feels cheap, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's what happens when you just order shoes and don't remember. <laughs> These I thought were gonna be fire, man, but they also tanked. Uh, yeah, those are under retail. I've, I've literally have never even put them on to see how they look like. <laughs> cool, I'm stoked, man. Cool. We'll give you my house. Yeah, we'll uh, we're gonna create our list now. Come up with some prices. Okay. Come back to you and uh, go from there. Okay, so we just sat here and went through every single pair, created an inventory list, a Google Sheet, and came have every pair and uh, put it there brand new, used, went through and marked all of those, as well as put a value between new and used pricing so we know. 
Now we included all the pairs over there as well and we marked the ones that he's keeping just so we have a track of the inventory list. I'll give you an example. SB Low Polaroids, those are brand new and they're listed on some websites for like 200-ish. I put the price that I would sell them at at 170. So when I'm telling him the price and we're going over it, that's gonna be the price that I'm, I'm selling it at, not like market value. And I'm genuinely gonna list those at that price so he has an idea of like where my margins and stuff are. So we're gonna have to kind of go back and forth on that. But 50 pairs total we have here. Really good variety from low to high. I think the most expensive pair is gonna be probably the Nigels. The Gulfs are 500. The, oh, the Spider-Man origin stories are like 700 bucks. I did, That was one that was surprising. These, I, I'm gonna list these at like 700 bucks. They're like 800 on the apps. Cause the, the other Spider-Man that just recently came out is like less than retail. So the total price that we came to that what I would sell it at, is $10,251. That's the price that I'm gonna list it, and that's where my margin is. So if I sold every single pair and I actually did sell them, that's what I'm gonna get back. So we have to kind of go and price it based off of that with him. So we'll get Danny back in here and negotiate, or write him a check and get these pairs out of here. All right, you got yourself a nice little collection here. 50 pairs were taken from you. Is that Harrison approved? Harrison approved, it's good. Okay, good. But now it's gone, so your Harrison approved collection is out of here. I can't wait to start a roll over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. We'll be, we've been friends for a while, so I'll be fully transparent where we're at price-wise. Okay. I price all of these at where I would sell them at. I'm a, this is exactly what I'm gonna list them for and what they're gonna sell for. Okay. It's around $10,200. Okay. So. Don't lowball me, Harry. $4,000. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think realistically, I could have a little bit of margin in there. Obviously, I'm making a video and all that, but if we're being realistic, I think I gotta land somewhere in the low nines. That's where I gotta land. And that's if I, just to cover my... So that's a good starting point because I thought you were going to come in a lot lower than that. Yeah, I, well, I'm going to make money off this video and do all that. Obviously, hairstubble.com, go buy these pairs. But uh, I think low nines is where I need to, need to end up. Just for it to make sense because I got to pay Nick to pack it all and do all that. Jeez, Nick, you're expensive, bro. I am expensive. <laughs> Nick's expensive. Thank God it's, it's three steps from here to your car. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, bro, I'm, I'm good with it, man. I'm happy I'm happy to share the collection and, and hopefully... Let's say 9200 Bro, I have to negotiate, you know. Yeah, no, I'm gonna say no. I have to, I have to, okay. I'll say 9,500, then you come with your account. 9,350. Okay, done. I got it. That's, that's all, right. all I need. 9,350, 50 pairs. Now we can take these back and we have to do all the work. We do have to do the work of taking pictures, listening and doing all that. So that is an aspect of this. So that's 90, 9,350 we ended up at for 50 pairs of shoes. I'm happy. You're happy to get these out of here? I'm stoked, bro. I'm all right, stoked. well, now we gotta Thank you. repack these up and get them into the car. <laughs> Cleared out. Now you have empty shelves. You can fill these up with something else. I know I can't wait. <laughs> so we have actually all this stuff out in the, the living room. We want to show you guys the collection. We got to squeeze that all into the car. I think it should fit. Hopefully it'll fit. But I mean, Nick's got his work cut out for him. Yeah, Nick's after burning his dosh. Are you yeah. sure you don't want any of the shelves? Uh, maybe another day I can add them in. I'm sure, but these are hard. I can't like sell them or anything. So and you're not transporting them. We'll strap them to the rope. Exactly. Well, let's go check out what we got in the living room. Cool. Let's see how big this pile is. This is pretty good. And he, we're keeping all the box. You kept all the boxes, which is pretty incredible. Um, for us, we can just ship them in the boxes that they're in. So it works out because we don't have to buy more boxes. That's all those. Now we're going to load these up in the car, head back to the warehouse. And we have a lot of work cut out for us to get these things listed, priced, and on the website. So I'm going to keep plugging at harrisonfield.com. Size 12, 12 and a half. You guys, lucky day. Go check it out. All right, just write the check. Here is uh, the amount. I'm gonna block everything else out. 93.50. Here's your check. And uh, thanks for doing business. Bro, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate now it. Now you have some space to fill. I know. Let the fun begin. <laughs> Go. 
barely fit. We could fit maybe like one or two more, but we're good to go. So we made it back with the entire collection and now we have to do, we have to stock them, we have to take photos, we have to list them on the website and go ahead and do that so that we can sell these shoes and make our money back. So if you're a size 12, don't forget to look out. Some of the, this is probably gonna go up on the website before this video goes live. So some of you guys might've seen the pairs, but uh, we got some pictures to take. pairs sorted and organized here ready to go we have to load them up on the website now when it comes to pricing when I talked about it before when I made this spreadsheet I priced them at about five to ten percent lower than StockX or goat would value them at their new or used prices so the price that I have them at, I can charge less to sell them quicker if I need to, but we still got in at a good price because we were able to negotiate down a little bit as well. So I didn't just get prices to get screwed over. I made sure to research at the price that I normally sell on my website that I know will move. So I know that I have money to be made still. So there's a whole collection. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have a collection that you guys wanna sell, let me know. We had a lot of fun doing this and potentially would come to your city and the surrounding areas of Atlanta if you guys are interested. So let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys the next one this Harrison signing out.